first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number one on the topic cube and dice so now we are going to learn introduction about this topic so friends before learning this topic first you guys have to decide which exam we are preparing for for example, if you are preparing only for the Rajasthan Electricity, for example, I am saying, if you are preparing for Rajasthan Electricity Board, or else if you are preparing for Andhra Pradesh Electricity Board, for example, state level competitive exams, if you are preparing for your own state level competitive exams, then you have to give much importance to the topic called DICE. If you are preparing for railway exams, SSC exams and mainly if you are a college student preparing for a campus interview, you have to give more and more importance to the topic called DICE. Because in every competitive, these types of competitive exams, you can able to see one or two questions, maximum four to five questions will be asked on the topic called DICE. If you are preparing for GATE exams, or else CAT exams, ONGSE. For example, if you are preparing for any tough level competitive exams, then you have to give more importance to the topic called CUBE. And mainly, if you are preparing for a bank exam alone, only for the bank exams, kindly do not study this topic. Not even one question will be asked from this area. So if you are preparing only for the bank exams, you don't want to learn it. If you are preparing for other than bank exams, kindly learn this topic in every competitive exams you can able to see one question from the dice or else from the cube got it friends so if you have to solve the question that is from a dice so you have to know some of the basic concept of cube some basic concept is enough first week in this uh, lesson number one we are going to learn introduction about the topic called dice but if you have to learn this dice, you have to know some basic about the cube. So that's the reason we are going to learn initially what is called as cube and what are all the important words in the topic cube. And then we can start learning the topic called dice. So first let me take the example here. You know how the cube looks like. So cube is called what? A square box. So you know cube looks like this structure and uh, where why it is called as a square box because the length, the breadth, height of all the sides will be same. So only then we call it as a cube that is square box. If any one changes then it is called as a cuboid which is called as a rectangular box. So here there are three important words. One is called as faces and second is called as corners and the edges. So you know if you take this as a cube right it's a cube and what is called as faces. So faces is nothing but a surface area. For example, this will be one face, a top surface area. And this will be the bottom surface area, which they usually call it as a bottom face. So top face, bottom face, and the front facing, back facing, and the right facing. For me, it is right, but for you, it is left, right? So right facing and the left facing. So totally, how many faces are there? Six faces are there. So we, we can say that for a cube, there are six faces. Got it. So next is the corners. So corners is nothing but this, this point is called as a corner. If you take a cube, right, this will be one corner, two corners, three, four, five. So each point, this is called as one corner, understood? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So totally how many corners are there? Eight corners are there. And the last is called as the edges. So what is called as edges? You can see when you take this cube, this, this is called as an edge, yes or no? This is one surface area, yes. So this will be the top surface area. In this top surface area, we can say this complete area is called as edge, edge of the surface. When you take this surface, right, when you take this surface, the edge of the surface will be this, this and this and this. So this is called as an edges, got it or not? So this line is called as an edges or else simply uh, keep that in mind, all the lines is called as an edges. So we can say totally there are 12 edges. So that's it. So totally we have three important words in the topic cube. One is a faces and second is the corners and the third is called as the edges. I hope you understood the concept, right? So this is more than enough, right? You By knowing these three stuff, you can able to solve 100% of the question from the topic called dice. So now entering into the concept called dice. So friends, everyone have seen the dice. In the childhood times, we usually play that uh, Lodo, uh, Snake and Ladder only by using this dice, right? But when you come to this uh, quantitative aptitude dice, there are two type of dice. One is called as a standard dice. Standard 
and the second is called as a general dice. So friends listen here, this same general dice, some students will call it as a non-standard dice. So totally the dice has two types, one is a standard dice and the second is the uh, general dice or else a non-standard dice. So first entering into the concept called dice, you know how the dice looks like. So in the childhood times we know that uh, there will be a one dot at the top. So we just call it as number one, two dot, three dot, four dot etc. In the childhood times what we used to play that Ludo and Snake and Ladder, it is a standard dice. So what is the difference between standard dice and the general dice or a non-standard dice is just listen here, some of most important thing, some right, some of opposite faces is seven. That is most important. Just listen carefully. Uh, for example, let, let me keep this as a dice, right? If the top is one, there is one dot, right? If top is one, then the opposite face, we know that it is an upper face, top face. So the bottom face will be six. If it is one, the bottom face will be six. Only then we can say that if you add the top face one and the bottom face six, the resultant will be seven. Always remember that sum of opposite faces should be 7. Right? If the top face is 2, right? for example, if this is 2, right? then what will be the bottom face? The bottom face will be 5. Only then we can say that 5 plus 2 will be 7. In case, if this face is 4, for example, I am saying this face. If this face is 4, if they are asking what is the opposite face number? If this is 4, then this will be 3. So only then we can say that 4 plus 3 will be 7, which is called as a standard dice. So never forget it, sum of, right, sum of, sum is nothing but addition. Addition of opposite faces will be 7. Got it? If this is 1, this will be 6. If this side is 4, this will be 3. If this side is 5, then the opposite side will be 2. So addition of all the opposite faces, the total will be 7. Then it is called as a standard dice. We usually play the games only by using a standard dice, right? So now a general dice or a non-standard dice. Listen here, here the adjacent, adjacent faces sum is equals to 7. Got it? Adjacent faces is nothing but for example, if this face, top face is 6, example I'm saying, if top face is 6, then the adjacent, adjacent is nothing but a neighbor. A neighbor face will be 1. Only then when you add 6 and 1, the resultant will be 7. Got it or not? In case, if this face is 5, then the adjacent side, either this side or this side will be 2. Only then we can say 5 plus 2 will be 7. Got it friends? So the difference between a standard dice and a general dice. What is the major difference? When you take a standard dice, the opposite side sum will be 7. When you take a general dice, the nearby faces total will be 7. That is called as a difference between a standard dice and a general dice. Or else this same general dice are also called as non-standard dice. So got it friends. So before solving every question on the topic dice, First, you guys have to decide the given image is a standard dice or a general dice. That is important. So after knowing which dice it is and then start solving the question. So only then you will feel easy. And second most important thing is we have many shortcuts, many techniques and many different methods to solve a question dice. But try to learn any one or two method that is enough. Don't learn all the shortcuts. Right, for solving one question, there will be 5 to 6 shortcuts. So don't learn all the shortcuts. Try to learn out of 5, 1 or 2, which might be helping you to solve all the 100% of the questions in the topic days. So don't learn all the 5 shortcuts. If you learn all the 5 shortcuts, you will get confused while solving some difficult question. So that's the reason I'm saying out of 5. So try to pick 1 or 2 and try to be strong on those shortcuts. Right. So now entering into some basic example of dice, we can see that. So before uh, seeing that example of dice question, just listen here how the questions in your exams will be asked. What are all the shapes? You can able to see usually the exam question will be like they will show you what is the top face number. Got it? And this face number and this face number. So only these three faces will be visible in your paper, exam papers. Got it? They usually show an image like this. So here you can able to see, you can able to see the top face. 
as well as you can able to see this side both the sides but you can't able to see the bottom face and this and this got it or not right always remember that in the exams they usually show you only three faces or else I can draw this image like this just see here they will show you the top right so they will show you this top face and they will show you the front face and also the side face got it usually in the exams they will give an image like this which determines the cube is exactly like this got it or not so you can able to see the top face this will be the top face right and these two side faces are visible so now let me enter into some of the example questions so friends here i have taken six example question so our target is to find whether the given dice is a standard dice or a general dice you know what is the difference right so first let me move on to this example question one just see here you can able to see three faces so this will be one face second face and the third face usually in the exams they will gi always give you three faces so in this three faces they have denoted by a number the first face the top face is five and here the number is one and here the number is three whether the given dice is a general dice or a standard dice just check what i have told you if it is a standard dice if it is a standard dice the opposite faces while you add opposite faces the resultant will be 7 what is called as general dice if it is a general dice if you add the adjacent side the total will be 7 just see 5 plus 3 is what 8 3 plus 1 is what 4 so when you add all these adjacent faces then it is not the total is not 7 so definitely we can say that the given dice will be a standard dice so friends got it or not understood what I did so what I did is I have added all these faces 5 plus 3 is 8 so not 7 3 plus 1 is 4 not 7 5 plus 1 is 6 not 7 so while adding all these adjacent faces I am not getting a total 7 if I am not getting a total 7 then it will be a standard dice in case if I get a total of 7 then it is called as a general dice so let me move on to the second example just see here we have three phases the face the top face is one and the side face is three and this side face is six so what you need to do you have to check this and you have to say the dice is a standard dice or a general dice just see here when you add the adjacent side so three plus one is four one plus six is what just see while adding the adjacent faces six plus one is what seven so while adding the adjacent face i am getting a number seven then it is called as a general dice so friends got it or not so similarly let me move on to this example so two four and five so add any two adjacent faces if i add five plus four is nine no four plus two is six no when you add 5 plus 2 again we are getting a total what total is 7 so while adding this adjacent faces i am getting a total of 7 if i add the adjacent faces and i am getting a total of 7 then it is called as what non-standard dice or else it is called as a general dice so friends got it so another example so 3 1 and 4 just add the adjacent faces if I add 3 plus 1 resultant will be 4 no so 4 plus 1 is 5 no 4 plus 3 is what again when you add 4 and 3 these two adjacent faces I am getting 7 so while adding the adjacent faces I am getting 7 so definitely it is a non-standard dice or else it is a general dice got it friends so next 1 2 and 3 so just just add and check with adjacent faces so 2 plus 3 is 5 not 7 3 plus 1 is 4 2 plus 1 is 3 so while adding all any of the two adjacent faces i am not getting a total 7 then it is called as what a standard dice standard dice got it or not friends so similarly if you add 6 plus 2 is 8 no 6 plus 3 is 9 3 plus 2 is 5 so while adding any two faces i am not getting seven if i am not getting seven then it is called as a standard dice that's it friends i hope now you understood what is the difference between a standard dice and a general dice got it so usually every time while seeing a questions in your exam first you have to decide whether the given dice is a standard dice or a general dice and then start solving the question by using the techniques so entering into the last session of this introduction video so here we are going to learn totally there are four types of questions they can ask from the topic dice 
right so and then from the upcoming videos that is lesson number two we are going to solve some question from type one then lesson three lesson four lesson five etc so before that you have to know what is the different type of question they can ask from the topic dice so type number one type number one usually they will give you only one dice so based on that they will ask us a question for example what is the opposite phase of three they can ask a question like this by giving one sort of images and they will ask you that what is the opposite phase of 3. Right? So you have to think and you have to write down the number. So similarly type number 2 is nothing but they will give you 2 dice and based on the 2 dice they will ask you a question. For example, uh, what is the opposite of number 3? Got it? So similarly type number 3 will be more than 2. It can not only 3. So type number 3 can be more than 2. It can be either 3 or 4 etc. They can give you 4 or 5 dice. Based upon the five days, they will ask you some sort of question and we have to solve it, which is called as type number three. So type number four is a different type and most important type also. So here you can able to see they will dismantle the complete cube into a separate separate faces. You can see this will be the bottom face. This will be the upper face, lower face and side face. They will just dismantle a complete cube into different different faces and then they will give an image like this. So by using the image, our target is to find which number is opposite to which number, right? Those cases we can solve in type number four. So when that's it about this introduction about the topic dice. So here in this introduction, we have learned first, we have learned the three important notes. One is what is called as edges and the corners and the faces. And then we have learned the major important concept that is what is the major difference between a standard dice and a general dice. Never forget it. So whenever you see a question in your exam, first guys you have to decide whether the given dice is a standard dice or a general dice. Only then you can able to apply the shortcut, right? So that's it about the lesson. So thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to watch the remaining lessons. So if you really like it, share the video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So thank you so much for watching it. Bye.